After removing the motor body from the frame, we can take a look at the interior of the X1 Pro. First of all, the speed reducer. As you can see, this is a planetary speed reducer, plus the components are made of hardened steel. The straight cut gears are machined to have thinner walls withstand the torque and speed from the motor. When compared to the BBSHD at the same speed, the noise is pretty much the same, but the X1 Pro would have way more power. The reduction ratio of the speed reducer is 6 to 1. The spread clutch, as you might be wondering, is on the carrier and it limits the rotation of the output shaft, so that when you pedal the bike, you will not be pedaling the motor as well. The spread clutch has a maximum rating of 170Nm of torque, which means you need to apply 1000Nm of torque at the crank to break it. On the exterior of the carrier, we use a very large bearing to keep everything here intact and safe. The output shaft can withstand more than 40Nm of torque. The work of the motor body has combined the traditional mechanical engineering with modern machining to achieve such possibility. Straight out of the motor, you can see that we use thick copper wires to withstand the high amounts of heat given by the high power output. If you look closely at the stator and the rotor, you can see that each layer of the laminations is 0.2mm thick. This allows high efficiency of the motor to reach more than 90% and this allows the motor to run at more than 5kW of continuous power output. The stator is black epoxy potted. This type of epoxy can withstand high temperature of up to 120 degrees. Moving on to the rotor parts. At each end of the magnet, two dynamic balancing are used instead of the balancing putty in the previous version. The magnets of the rotor are N45SH grade. What this means is that these magnets can work at high temperatures of more than 150 degrees Celsius. The magnets are surface mounted as this gives more torque and has a higher power to weight ratio. In other words, given the same surface area and diameter, this thing can produce more torque. Internal permanent magnets do have the advantage of better security of the magnets and they are cheaper in price. Therefore, in order to keep the magnets in place, we've added extra layers of glue to hold them together. The shaft is capable of withstanding more than 15 Nm of torque and more than 15,000 rounds per minute. The rotor can withstand 12,000 rounds per minute with ease.